Hello, I'm Grazia Aleppo. I'm professor of medicine at Northwestern University in Chicago. We are here at the Cardiometabolic Health Conference in Boston. And I'm Jay Sherbrooke, a primary care diabetologist at Chura University, California, and I'm delighted to be participating in the Cardiometabolic Health Congress. Today's programs, we're going to talk about a number of things that are highly relevant to people with diabetes. Uh, I'll be talking a little bit about insulin. Um, while insulin is one of the safest medications with the least side effects, and highly titratable, we actually don't do a very good job with insulin. I feel like many of our patients don't get enough insulin and some get way too much, and we're not really uh, maximizing the therapeutic benefit of a, a medicine that is one of the most potent. What will you be talking about? I was given a very interesting topic today of talking about the role of CGM in people without diabetes and cardiovascular disease risk. And so I had to look at literature looking at, first of all, diabetes to see what the role of glucose fluctuation is, but also understand how that really becomes important even before people develop diabetes and how CGM can unveil, make the invisible visible to show us the postprandial spikes that are present in people without diabetes and how close the normal to prediabetes to diabetes sort of progression is. And so minimal changes in glucose have significant repercussions in the future. Yeah, and I think in a meeting particularly like this, uh, being able to uncover things that maybe are common in the diabetes space but might be very new for a nephrologist, cardiologist, lipidologist, uh, this is a chance for us really to talk about how to do team-based care and utilizing all of our tools to really optimize care of the patient. And also think about the patient, even with hypertension, do they have a chance to have hyperglycemia postprandially? We don't want to think about this five years down the line. We want to think about this today so we can say, can we actually prevent prediabetes? Because once you get pre, chances are you get to uh, the diabetes, and then it becomes a more complicated to um, understand what do we address first. Is it one C the answer? Is CGM the answer? Can we work together? What can we do things all as a team, as you were mentioning before? Yeah, and of course, the earlier we intervene, not only does that benefit diabetes, but that benefits all cardiometabolic health. Yes, and in fact, what I'll share with you later on is that even if you think about glycemic variability, you can't quite prove it really prevents or shows increasing cardiovascular risk because you need to do a longitudinal study. So that's why we need to start so much earlier so we can get that profile flattened many years down the line by improving cholesterol, metabolic uh, state, and weight, blood pressure, all of this needs to start much earlier than we thought. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to today's session. So am I. Thank you so much for joining us.